Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video here uh, about this pretty amazing looking concept here that would be like the thinnest iPhone ever. Uh, it is concept of the next generation iPhone. It's a concept from Joseph uh, Farai and you can find him at ovalpicture.com. Oval uh, he seems to be a designer uh, and he's been making this epic concept here of a super, super thin iPhone. And they also made a video that you can check out if you want to check out the full little thing here uh, but it's super thin uh, around six uh, six millimeters in, th in thickness it he's been imagining edge to edge display uh, a 5.1 inch uh, display as well uh, yeah six millimeters in thickness did I see that in this video I'm pretty sure it looks like the um, uh, what is it called? The, the the touch ID is a little bit bigger uh, and then also he's been imagining a 10 megapixel camera and that's something that we've heard that uh, the next generation iPhone is gonna have around a 10 megapixel or could be a little bit more or a little bit less but it definitely should have a better looking or better camera on top to be able to compete with the, the new Sony phones and a lot of used Android smartphones that's coming out with like 20 megapixel camera, 16 megapixel camera, 18, 40 megapixel camera and Apple is still used at 8 megapixels, so they're probably going to do some interesting things uh, at that area in this year and this rumor that we've been, uh, we might see two new iPhones. Now, this is probably not going to be the next generation iPhone. Uh, it's probably not going to be this thin. This looks like, like a 2016 phone almost. 2016, yeah, I think that could be a good year for a, a extreme phone like this that is this thin. Hopefully also it would, yeah, he has also been imagined there would only be 100 grams in, in terms of weight. And we've been seeing this a lot in, in many years now, edge to edge, and I really hope phones are really, really closing in to be that. Like, we just need more sexier phones. And some people have been saying that six millimeters would be like super, super, super thin phone and it would feel weird. I don't actually think it's gonna be weird. I think that in the future, they're just gonna be smaller, okay? They're just gonna be like, maybe even, I can even imagine a one millimeter phone phone and it will just be super 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 thin and uh, it will be awesome <laughs> it will be pretty epic uh, he has been imagining a new display here 5.1 inch uh, retina display version 2 uh, that we've been hearing that uh, sharp is probably going to do something like that and uh, it's just going to be epic with a bigger display on an iPhone because th that's the main problem I have with iPhones and why I don't use them as my main device they are just too small, okay? iPhones are too small, 2014 or, or even 2013, 2012 even, four inch green. I need something bigger. The problem though with Apple is that they definitely need, needs to do some kind of design change if they're gonna probably make a bigger iPhone because I think it's gonna feel weird if they're gonna keep the same design because it's pretty thick uh, and has uh, kind of like a little bit sharp edges uh, and definitely not as rounded off as uh, phones like the Galaxy lineup, which definitely feels good there on the sides. But we just have to wait and see what Apple's gonna do. Uh, check out my other kinds of videos also if you wanna um, do it. I like to do these videos because I think it's cool also to show off when amazing designers uh, have been playing out and been trying to create like a render of, a, of, a, of, of something new and something cool. And I'm very, very into new phones and check it out. So yeah, peace out.